cast of characters here, some familiar faces. We are at the Sapphire Now Tech Ed event wrap JDOD shoot. Uh, yes, we're doing the wrap before the keynote. Things are all messed up. The truth of the matter is we all want to be front row for Super Tramp tonight, so we had to change our schedule around. Yep. Just kidding. Yep. Just kidding, folks. Um, it's because we have to close the studio down early. Event logistics, basically. So we have a quick wrap. Uh, Dick Hirsch is going to have to leave in just a few minutes. Don't be right. surprised if he storms off the set. It doesn't in anger, in anger. It yeah. doesn't mean that he's offended. Uh, what were you hoping to get out of this event, and what did you learn, and what what's still lurking for you? Well, I mean, for me, it, my focus is always on cloud. Um, and I have a little bit of disadvantage that we don't see what Vishal's going to um, say in, in a few hours. But I think we talked about the first first day about messaging. That was sort of a discussion about cloud messaging. And I think it's getting better, um, but I think they still need work done. I was hoping for a little bit more clarity, and I haven't seen it yet. Um, there was one cloud session where there was some confusion um, about that message. Um, like I said, as you you got some work to do. I had an excellent session about financials on demand um, that I asked for, where we really did a deep dive into the architecture of the product. And I was, I was pleased to see that. Um, I was pleased to have a um, better understanding of what really the idea is behind this offering and what the potential is for other future offerings. That made me happy to see that um, the architecture is very flexible and able to have perhaps very rapid um, offerings in the future. That was pleased, pleasing for me. Um, and of course, I talked to all my the buddies in the NetWeaver cloud um, area. And I'm also pleased to see that there's development there. Maybe not as, as much as I would hope for, but there's definite progress. And I'm pleased to see that as well. So do a little time travel with me to, to SAP Orlando in May. What would we want to hear from SAP then that would help you to feel like they've really made progress? Because that, that's about, what, right. six months? So w where could they be there that would kind of crystallize the cloud well, message? I mean, I think they still have some difficulty <laughs> in terms of the history. Because initially you had, this is the, the, the core and the edge, and you had the, the SaaS application, then you had the past, and they were really separate. Now right. they've tried to put everything together in, in one picture, and that makes things more confusing. And I just hope that in the time between now and the Sapphire in Orlando, that they tell us perhaps how this picture works together with the SaaS applications and with the past, and as well how the HANA Cloud really fits in as sort of as the the um, parentheses that surrounds it all. That's what I'm hoping for more information. Just clarity. Sure, sure. You guys have any questions for Dick? Um, I, I share his thoughts around... Um, right closer. I share his thoughts around how, you know, the messaging's been a little off. Um, it's not clear, especially from an architectural standpoint, right. how people are going to make choices. Um, because there's there's almost seems to be an overwhelming amount of choice in different approaches. And there isn't clear message from SAP is, you know, this is a situation where you go you go to HANA Cloud, or this is a situation where you go for an on-premise HANA instance, or versus you know, right. some of the solutions. It's, um, I was just with Graham at one of the, uh, the HANA One uh, stalls, and the pricing of HANA One versus the pricing of the lowest end HANA in-house system uh, there, you know, it isn't. It isn't clear why I would go for uh, an on-premise solution or something else. And right, and I mean, I think that's. I mean, it's it's not only pricing; it's use case um, really driven. When do I say I'm a developer? I do Hana XS, <laughs> or I do Netweaver Cloud, or I do something else. Um, I think maybe SAP understands a little bit how that should work, but the, the message to developers and to customers hasn't really been pushed yet. I agree. I think, uh, as you said, the options are so uh, so many. Uh, it it, it kind of repeats a little bit the situation, I think, that we had with mobility. There were so many options, so many approaches, but it's a little bit use, right. use case. Mm -hmm. You want to do this? Well, there is, for that scenario, a better approach. And I think uh, com communicating that uh, will be uh, beneficial but to avoid uh, this, this big uh, confusion or big uh, in indecision in, right. in the market. Because we, we, we understand that we are or we're having now technology offers that are very interesting, but how do they all fit together? Right. I mean, I think that's, that's an important point. And once you mentioned mobility, <laughs> and there was one session where they're talking about the NetWeaver Cloud roadmap and coming out with mobility as a service. And for me, this is a very fascinating and very important um, development. The question is, 
what impact is that going to have on SUP? Um, and this is when, once again, they got to figure out really not only within the cloud, but if you start to look at these other areas as well, how everything fits together. Um, I think they're trying to coalesce, in, in my opinion, towards the, the NetWeaver cloud. But what's the impact if I'm a customer? When do I say, okay, this mobile app has to go on SUP right. instead of the, mobile, mo the mobility as a service? Yeah, I think one concern I would have is I just I talk with an experienced analyst who understands by design and cloud, and she was in a briefing, and they basically were had trouble explaining the cloud platform story during right. that session, and I said, well, we'll take care of it for you during this deeper dive, and I find myself thinking, if an experienced analyst right. who understands the products needs an additional one hour deep dive to understand SAP's cloud strategy then how are you possibly going to get that across right. to the average customer in a way that makes sense? And that, to me, right. that's the real issue as far as understanding what's happening here. Right. Because a lot of the ideas seem pretty good. Yeah. But right, but they have just have too many moving parts. I mean, the question is, how do you simplify it so that people understand it in, in one picture? And that's a challenge. I, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Um, right. But that's what they have to achieve, either leaving things off or compressing things so that it's easy for people to um, Right. Understand. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know if it will be any beneficial, but if the message could be more focused on the solution and less the technology components, right. I think uh, there's too many moving parts, as you said, and, and when you put them all together, it's overwhelming sometimes. Right. Yeah, like, well,